Hey guys, welcome back to another week. Um, very, very busy week ahead, all right? I hope everyone did had a good weekend, could rest of your family, with your family, with your friends, or you know, whatever it may be. Um, it's your relaxation time. It's very, very important for you as a trader to have those times with your family, friends, uh, you know, get a little bit off from the screens. And I've talked about this already, uh, maybe two months ago, at the beginning of this year, um, talking about, you know, go for a run, go for a swim, do something different, uh, trigger your brain to think outside of what you're usually thinking. Um, that makes you uh, recover fast um, on the weekend to go um, to a new week. And of course, uh, it's a new week and a new month, so it will be very, very busy. You already know what's happening on the new week, new month. Uh, it's the NFP, right? So we will touch base this um, in a second. But first of all, please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up on this video already, um, send this content to your friend that may be a little bit lost on the macroeconomic aspects and want to know what is actually happening. Uh, he will be very grateful for you to be sending those contents to him and same as I, you know, um, exposing us to more people, it's always a good thing. Okay guys, I have the economic calendar here at my phone, in my front. Um, it's a very busy week, all right? I'm not gonna lie, it's a very busy week, um, but it will only get busier and busier after Wednesday. So Monday today is sort of okay. We're gonna have um, Spanish HICP and as well Spanish CPI at five o'clock p.m. at Sydney time. And then after that, we're gonna have German CPI that's gonna be um, year over year and month over month. This will be very, very important, okay, at 10 p.m. tonight. Um, the consensus for year over year is expecting 2.3% from the previous of 2.2%. So they are expecting a 0.1% higher than the actual, uh, sorry, than the last um, year, all right? And now, uh, in a month of a month of um, April, uh, the 0.4% from the previous to the consensus now at 0.06%. Um, on Tuesday, we will have the business confidence and retail sales as well as private sector credit for Australia, um, for Australia and New Zealand. Um, New Zealand, we're going to have the business confidence. Australia, we're going to have retail sales. Very, very important. So stay tuned. Um, consensus is at 0.2% and the previous was 0.3%. This is month over month, of course. We're going to have very, very important as well, manufacturing PMI for um, China. So these will affect the Australia. All right, everyone is talking about, oh, okay, but why Australian dollar is going up? Well, remember that we had last couple of weeks the GDP from China. So that was better than expected. And in a sense, it did affect the market in that way, all right? Because China and Australia are big partners. Therefore, whatever happens in China may affect Australia. And this was one of the contents, one of the data that um, influenced um, the Australia dollar and it made, you know, uh, move up, combine it with a move down on the US dollar index. So it was sort of a perfect timing in there um, that made um, Aussie dollar um, do a little pullback. I say pullback because I am expecting Australian dollar against the US dollar to fall even further this year, all right? So um, this leads because of the um, IBA and the Fed FOMC, if you prefer, um, swap difference, all right? They are expecting to no cut, one expecting to cut. So it's a very crazy moment that I will be discussing this during the week. So again, subscribe to the channel so you don't lost, you don't, um, don't, don't lose any of the videos and any of the contents, okay? Um, we're gonna have some um, unemployment change as well, uh, but the most important on Tuesday is definitely the CPI and the GDP for Europe at 7 p.m. Okay, so this will affect the euro dollar as well as other euro um, euro pairs. Now, coming to Wednesday, consumer confidence on USA, very important as well, but lots and lots of holidays and Labor Day on China, France, Greece, Italy, even Brazil. Uh, we have um, Spain, South Korea, Hong Kong, and so on. So uh, market may be a little bit uh, calm there, but this will not um, stop the Asia market to continue to work as Australia will have employment change, unemployment rate, as well as manufacturing PMI 
and some other indicators. Uh, we're gonna have manufacturing PMI for USA expected to be as normal, no, no changes from the previous 49.9 uh, because the previous from April, uh, sorry, the previous from March, March was reduced down, okay, it was readjusted as they, they like to say. Um, on Thursday, we will have um, ISN manufacturing employment as well as manufacturing PMI for USA expected to be um, a little bit, a little lower than the previous. And of course, FOMC statement, Fed interest rates decision and FOMC press conference. This will be key. I will do a video um, tomorrow as well. We'll talk on my webinar. So if you don't know yet, we will have a webinar um, live tomorrow from 5 to 6 p.m. at um, at the at the at the the website you can do your registration okay or you just go to the description of this video and make sure you register yourself in there um, and I will be talking about all of these um, that what I'm expecting from the Fed okay and then jumping for Friday we still have some holidays yet on China Greece and Japan but we're going to have services PMI for Australia, some versus PMI for UK um, as well as non farmer payroll for USA. That's the big, big week ahead. Uh, it does have some other things here, but I will introduce everything and break down everything on the webinar tomorrow. So if you're not registered yet, do it so on the link on the description. I hope everyone have a good week ahead and a good new month. <laughs> so we're very close to the end of this month and starting a new month, as I just say. So I hope everyone have a lovely week. And if you have any questions, please, Put in the comments i will be happily answering those questions or attend tomorrow so you can ask me the questions and i can answer you at the time live all right guys have all a great week and i see you in the next one